Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated new releases for the month of May in 2019. I have a total of five that I want to share with you guys. I tried to pick the less popular books as usual because we don't want to hear about the same five old books on every single channel that we watch. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have is called The Night Before by Wendy Walker and this comes out May 14th, 2019. This follows a woman named Laura Lochner who has never really been lucky when it comes to love. After her last breakup, she decides to move back in with her sister and give love one more chance with a man that she met on a dating app. Her sister Rosie is worried about her and her mental state, but her sister's arrival is causing problems in her own marriage. When Laura does not return from her date the night before, her sister begins looking for her. Laura has left no information about the man that she was meeting, but Rosie is not worried about what that man could have done to Laura. She's worried about what Laura could have done to the man, and it's basically that story. So I just want to know what's up with Laura. Like, did she do something in her past that makes her sister so worried? Like, is she like a murderer or something? Did she have like a mental breakdown? We don't know, but we want to find out. So I'm hella excited for that one. The next book that I have, I actually have an ARC that I received from the publisher, so thank you so much to the publisher, but it is called The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg, and I'm actually started it already. It comes out May 28th, 2019, but it is so dang good. It takes place in The Kingdom, which is an immersive fantasy amusement park where guests come basically to make their dreams come true. Anna is one of the fantasists who are basically androids, robotic princesses that sole purpose are to make the guests happy. One day she meets a park employee named Owen and she begins to feel love, which is an emotion that she was not programmed to feel. So when Owen is murdered, Anna becomes the number one suspect and a trial begins and it's basically the story of that but it's done through like multimedia so there's transcripts from the trial that she's in there's text messages there's like flashbacks like it's just really cool so far like I'm only halfway through but I am loving it and I highly recommend that y'all check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna love it at the end, but so far I'm on page 190 and I'm loving it. So I mean, check back for my wrap up to hear my full thoughts on what I think of this, but I'm thinking that it's gonna be high up on my list. The next book that I have is called Necessary People and this is by Anna Pionek and this is coming out May 21st, 2019. Della and Violet have been best friends since they met in college. They both know the role that they play in this friendship. Stella is the rich and beautiful one. She's always the center of attention, and Violet is always in the background waiting to clean up her messes. After graduation, Violet moves away to become a producer in cable television. So when Stella hears how well Violet is doing on her own, she bribes her way into the company, and that's when Violet decides that she is not going to be upstaged by Stella this time around. I'm just hoping that Violet is gonna do a stabby stabby murder murder or something along those lines or like really fuck Stella up. I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. I'm excited. I need this book. The next book that I have is my one contemporary because I always try to include one contemporary book but it is Birthday by Meredith Russo and this comes out May 21st 2019. It follows Morgan and Eric who were born on the same day at the same time which basically bonded them for life. It's told through snapshots of their life on their birthdays from ages 13 to 18. It follows Eric figuring out who he is as well as Morgan deciding to live her life the way that she chooses and it's like their story and how they're always going to be connected and yada yada. I've heard from Gabby from I think her channel is Gabby Reads a lot. I might be wrong but she read this and absolutely loved it and she raves about it on her channel so I just really want to pick it up because I think it sounds really good so definitely on the list of most anticipated. And then the final book that I have I think sounds really cool. It's called Guilty by Laura Elliott and it comes out May 7th 2019. It follows a mother who receives a phone call one day saying that her 13 year old daughter has gone missing. Days later the girl's uncle Carl is swept into a media frenzy created by a journalist named Amanda Bao who states that he is the prime suspect. Years later Carl's life is in shambles, his marriage is over and he's left all alone while Amanda is thriving with the birth of a new baby boy. And that is when she receives a phone call and her worst nightmare begins. And I just want to know if Carl did it and if Carl stole the baby boy and like what's going on, I am 
so ready for this book. I think it sounds so good and it sounds right up my alley, so I need it. All right, guys, so that was my most anticipated list for the month of May 2019. Let me know down below if you guys plan on reading any of these or if you've already read them because they're probably all released by the time you see this video. Let me know what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!